Good evening. Let's get this started. So I've been talking about creating a hardcore Eve character for a bit now. And I've been going back and forth on what race to do. I decided that I'm going to go with Minmatar. I'm not going to stay with Minmatar, but I'm going to start with Minmatar. So let's knock out character creation really quick. I mean, ultimately this doesn't matter a whole lot. Let's go here. Ultimately, as far as characters go, I just need something that I can live with. And if I really am worried about it, I can resculpt later. And that skeletal structure, though. Eh, good enough. Let's do... Exploration, military, tech. Let's do exploration. Now the most difficult part, finding a name that we can use. That one works. And we are going to play through the uh, tutorial on this. I think I've seen this before. It's actually pretty nice. Looks good. player experience. Let's see how this goes once we get out of this cinematic. So it looks like my shortcuts were still set and I can set up my overview here but I might also just take my uh, saved overview. But the main limitations that I'm going to have on this character is no transactions with other pilots. So NPC transactions are allowed. It just means I'll have to think about how I source a lot of the equipment that I'll use. And then once we can get to the Abyss, that will that will help because if I go Faction and T2 on the standard ship lines, I'm going to hit some limitations early on with Reactions and PI, but the Trig ships will get around some of that. And we can put, we can get a lot of mileage out of, say, a Bedmac, hence the character name Bedwack. But that's also what I, I named my ESS at max. It's pretty sweet. So normally if I was making an alt, I would just skip this, but I want to play through it just to see what new pilots are going through these days. When a facility was attacked, I'm in my pod. Sweet, thank you, Aura. Sweet. I'm imagining we're going to learn about targeting first. Camera control. More camera control. Okay. Let's set this to if it even lets me down do anything yet, it may not. I like trying to have a 
Hey, like Sarah, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm, I'm not sure if you've been in the Discord, but I've been talking about creating a new character just because on my main, I've done pretty much everything I would could want to do. This is going to help me find some new ways to have fun. It's a pretty sweet looking uh, Astero, civilian Astero. This area looks great. It'd be nice if they could pull some of this art out elsewhere into the game. Osprey is such a nice looking ship. Pretty sure it's an Osprey. Okay. Rendezvous. Work on movement. Looks like right now I can't use the radio command menu, which is what I use a, a lot of my during the abyss a lot. Sweet. Hopefully what we're seeing here is we'll see more of when we get some of these storylines added into the game that they were talking about in FanFest. I don't know if it's something that I'll necessarily get into a lot, but it is good to see. I mean, this looks a lot better than when I remember starting EVE. Different times. I actually don't have control of my ship at the moment. I mean, I probably can click off and take over, but... Right now we're just following Balin. He's in an Osprey. I thought I saw a Brutus there for a second. There's one. Masking signatures. Oh, sweet. Approach the signal source. I do wish that I could use the radio menu right here rather than only this overview. But I guess it's not something that you would naturally think that ex exists in the game if you were a completely new pilot. So I hope everybody's doing okay. I've had a pretty busy couple days and I've been thinking about how I would get started on this, so I'm glad that you stopped by and see how we get this character up and running. Click either. It's all all the controls are right here at the moment. Macario. Macario. Nice. Blackbird. Dreamio.
Orbit the frigate. Let's see what we can what we can change here. our range. I want this to go away. Maybe once I click something. Oh wow, you can't even use hotkeys yet. Yeah, no hotkeys. So, if there was, was a normal situation, I would use keep it range with these beams, just to help with tracking a little bit. It looks like, I mean, we were hitting them just fine. Orbit again. Essentially three plus three plus floor, so not that not that far up range. I mean, this whole engagement looks pretty sweet. I keep I keep trying to click keybinds and it's not doing anything. Megathron up there. Scorpion. Interesting. Might as well throw a jam out. I don't think it's going to do anything for us. It might cap us out, apparently. So I believe on the Minmatar path, I will start out with the Slasher pretty early on. And the nice thing about that is once I can get up to the DPS requirements for T0. I have a slasher fit once I can source the modules to get us through um, some abyssals. Ships are scrimming Yorkas. I will say that breaking away from your player ship to view this is might be jarring for a new pilot. Cannot double click in space, you have to orbit. You aura. Two webs. Hmm. Interesting. These bastards have me pinned down. I won't be able to reach you in time. I mean, not that it matters, but. Okay, let's see where this scenario spits us out at. Overall, looks great. 
I would say for a new pilot, uh, there's enough going on to keep you interested. It, it is definitely drawing going back and not being able to use a lot of basic commands. Vesper Calatrix. And we are going to go through the, the air process. I'm going to I'm going to use that extensively to help me get started. So we've got ship panel up. We've got a reaper. So we've got some shortcuts open. Some disc. Mining laser. So we're blending in. Hitting window, which here I'm just going to press Alt F and drag and drop. Also, they're going to teach us about skills right now as well. That reminds me, actually. So when I was thinking about which account to do to do this on, I have some multiple character training scripts on this account. So that, that's why I went here. So we're gonna go this. Now it's paused. But we're gonna do this. I thought about just creating a new account, um, but I have these, and I'm I'm not really gonna use it for anything else. But so that gives me two months of training on this before I decide if I want to deactivate the training on the other tune. Okay. Air interface. Yeah, it's up there. It'll let us apply skill points even. That's kind of nice. I'm guessing we just got those skill points for going through the tutorial. Air skill plan. Select the air skill plan. I wonder what's in here. Start training. Repair systems one and two. That'll give us some armor. Armor repair specifically. Hey Boxer Buddy, good to see you. Thank you for the follow. So what you're seeing here is I, I just created a new tune. Uh, I've been playing uh, on my main, account, my main account since 2008, but I wanted to set some limitations on a new character just to have fun in a different way. And the main thing this with this is uh, I won't be having any player or transactions with other players. And it also lets me go through the new player content. Close the skills window. So we got repair systems here. It looks like that plan only has those skills. I mean, I, I will trade in those anyways, but I do have some other things I want to get in there. Alt F again to pull up the fitting window. I mean, you can click it over here, but I'm just going to use the shortcut. I'm going to left click this to turn it on, and we can close it again. Actually, good habit to get into. Actually, it won't let me do it. I was going to rename my ship. We're going to view at the mining site. Okay, that's all it's going to let us do right now. The station looks great, by the way. Civilian auto cannon.
So will it let me adjust my overview yet? Hey Dante, good to see you. I think you were around last stream when I was talking about creating this pilot. Uh, it's been been wanting to do it the last couple of days, but we decided at the end of the stream to do it on stream. And it makes sense. Okay, so I created a new account. It's got some hardcore limitations on it that I set. Actually, I should use this command. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'll start doing more T6 on that account. I won't do more than a set at a time just because there's some OPSEC concerns with running that fit. Uh, but I will run more of that on stream. I appreciate you checking it out though. I mean, for the most part, that T6 setup is, it runs very similarly to the T4 setup. Uh, obviously the main difference being the web and the tracking disruptor. On the surface, that's the main difference. And then our gun DPS is a lot higher. Okay. Yeah, pretty quick. But I mean, and we were talking about this again in Lurkers, um, which for those watching, if you're not familiar with the Abyssal community, uh, Abyssal Lurkers is a great place to hang out. I have my own Discord, but I also hang out here. And we were talking about, you know, strategies for pulling all the loot in higher tiers. And I mean, there's definitely arguments for pulling everything, but I always like just going as fast as possible and only pulling the biocache. There, was, there are some actual reasons why. Yeah, so I can do that. Um, get through this too. Mining laser. Okay. So uh, when I send drones in darks to do that, I risk pulling mobs away from my smart bombs, and I don't want to do that. It is doable, but I, I am ultimately going for runs. I mean, I'm making more than enough isk anyways for me, uh, so I would rather get more runs in time than uh, I would. For me, I would rather have four runs nearly guaranteed, pretty much should be guaranteed, on a set of boosters rather than three slower runs on a set of boosters. Okay, orbit. I definitely don't pull nodes in T4. What's funny is the T4 fit, average clear time is about the same as the T6 fit. Let's see. Still don't have a lot of basic controls in my ship. I mean, that, that T4 setup, when I do my sets of five, I mean, it's not all that uncommon to pull 200 mil out of there, and it's mostly profit, whereas that T6 set, and I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the video, but that T6 set lost about 120 to 130 mil in consumable cost, and those were with perfect rolls on the boosters. Stop and ship. It did let me use a shortcut to stop the ship there. Still won't let me use shortcuts for the modules though. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm definitely lo leaving loot on the table. And I was talking about this with uh, Scara, but it's like I said, I, I'm making plenty of money and it's just a, a chill setup that I run. And these days I mainly run it on stream. Uh, so I, I'm I'm fine just pulling the bio. But I, I know that's that's not what other people want to do. Access cargo hold. Hmm. I'm not really going to be able to sell it, so that apply to me. Yeah, and that is, so when I initially made that T6 setup, darks were still 10 to 15 mil a pop. Unfortunately, the stack that I'm working through now, I, I got before they really went up in price, but um, that's part where that strategy comes from and definitely factored in for the T4 setup where T4 filament is only 400,000 isk. Venture, I, I will be working towards a venture here. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of money, and that's how I, I kind of justify the booster cost. 
or T6 in dark. I also really want to turn off this tracking camera. Let me do it. I might have done it right there. Yeah, I did. Shift C. You better hustle if my guys will drain that asteroid dry before you get there. If you've got an afterburner, now's the time to use the burner. I'm guessing you're running the Gila for the T6 electric, or are you running Retributions? I mean, the art here definitely looks solid, but it, it's not really anything that a, a new pilot's going to see elsewhere in the game, from what I can think of. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, Stormbreaker is definitely a, a strong ship. There's not enough going on with it for me to enjoy it. I mean, similar to the Gila, both are strong options. I just not for me. And they are definitely going over some helpful advice here, if you're paying attention. Yeah, if, if you can crush any other weathers, going to dark will feel slower, because you don't have that resist bonus helping you. And that's true even in low tiers. So I'm usually not an industry-focused pilot, but on this tune I will have to do some industry. Once I get some basic combat skills, I will lean heavily into that for a bit, just so I can source the combat that I want to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to. I mentioned this in wanted to do it in my Discord, so you can actually, if you go to the Discord, you can see the convo we're having about it. Um, salvaging and scavenging are definitely going to be helpful early on, and later on, uh, I imagine this could be some targeted PvP just to get some modules that I want, or resources that I want. I don't know if I'll necessarily do much suicide ganking, because I'll need to do it in a space where I can suicide and then get back to get the loot. Yeah, faction warfare, and, and what I was mentioning the other day, stopping my ship again, um, doing this right when faction warfare changes are about to come come out should be very helpful. A good time to do it, rather. Just because I can, I could get into novice plexes if they're still going to be called novice plexes, um, and cause some havoc there. I don't know if I'll actually join a faction though. I think that would be creating some limitations that I don't necessarily need. Maybe though, and if, if I do it, I'll probably go Mimitar. And one of the reasons I went Mimitar is just to have um, a small gain in the beginning to get into Mimitar missions because I want loyalty points for Thucker batteries eventually. That and I have some fits for starter uh, Mimitar that I like and. I figure this would be a good opportunity to play through them and talk through them. Because I haven't put out a lot of guides lately. So this way I'll talk through the T0 Slasher and the uh, T1 Stabber. Maybe even up to the T3 Stabber fleet, but i got to source some stuff for it. Namely some PI stuff. I guess there was a wreck in that asteroid. So Destroyer, um, one, if you're talking about new players, I would not recommend Destroyers because Destroyers take some of the weaknesses from, or the weaknesses from a frig and the weaknesses from a cruiser and put them together. So for higher tiers, it would be a Jackdaw. A Draugr is also possible, but it's very expensive. Um, and, and when it comes to thin ships, I would preferred not to fly you know two holes that together alone are gonna be about a billion for solo 
Um, you can pull off Jackdaw solo in tier three, but again, it's similar to solo destroy or solo frig T2. You largely do it because you want to, not because it's amazing is per hour. Uh, but the common one thrown around would be the Jackdaw, and then people talk about doing solo T3 and Draugr as well. And they some people talk about going T4 and and Jackdaw and Draugr solo. But again, it, once you're doing stuff like that, it's it's definitely a I want to thing and I want the challenge, and uh, you don't necessarily need to ask like, hey, should I do this? Because you're just going to do it if that makes sense. But for a lot of a lot of those. You know, if you step back from Draugr and, and Jackdaw, T2 is where a lot of a lot of fits start hitting the wall for Solar Frig and Destroyer. Hey Zorky, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. So I created this command, but basically it's um, I'm not going to conduct any transactions with other players. So market transactions, contract transactions. So really, I have to source pretty much everything myself loot this. Not being able to use shortcuts and the radio menu is really throwing me off. Then the other thing is, I mean, you, you'll start to see right there, no alts and uh, no player own structures that I haven't created, which of the current, from the, yeah, basically. Um, for the conversation we were having in Discord leading up to this, it sounds like PI, so POCOs, and um, some reactions might cause issues. So if, if I get far enough down the line and it's like, hey, this is, you know, if I'm at a wall and legitimately can't get through it, and it not to mention it wouldn't be entertaining to get through, um, I might ease back that third one. But right now it's, it's very, it's better in my mind to start with more restrictions. And then as I work through the process, because I've never done anything like this before, as I work through the process, but I'm like, okay, this is too debilitating then we can have that conversation whereas if i start too lax i can't it doesn't make sense to you know add restrictions on at the end okay black box can't open it it seems like a, a good opportunity to introduce salvaging and like actual salvaging maybe hacking right here Okay. Go back to station. The box may contain the answers we need to discover why those unidentified ships attacked the Comey facility and why one was fired at the Skyway site. So yeah, Dante, uh, up to T2, a lot of destroyers work, especially if it's just a, uh, I want to go have fun. Of the destroyers, I, I think I enjoy the T2 dark solo Kikimora the most, just because one, it's cheap. Too, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on in the site to make it enjoyable. Iskwai, so it, it's less isk per hour than what you'll pull with like a solo hawk though, in tier one. Or retribution. And you saw my uh stream elements pop up talking about ads. I won't do the long breaks. I'll probably, once I hit an hour, I'll probably do like a 30 second or a minute break. Just gives me a chance to stretch my legs and at this point refill on water. I appreciate those that have followed so far. Shatterburn Zero, just like you. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out and giving me the follow. Um, the follows definitely help me. And then you definitely don't, don't feel the need to subscribe because I'm doing this for fun and really you're just watching me play a game that I, I really enjoy and ultimately I get to do it now and hang out with friends and talk about what I'm doing. Uh, but if you have prime subs and you're sitting on them and you haven't given them out, uh, I'll definitely take those from you if you want, if you feel like you want to give them because it'll help me offset some of the equipment costs that I put out for. Uh, yeah, I mean it, it is help for skills. I'll need it for blueprints as well. I'd say blueprints will be a big one, but skills definitely. I mean, I almost debated on being able to sell to players, but I don't, I don't think, I mean, I can generate ISK other ways. 
And that's just one of those things where it's like, okay, well, I'm going to grind T1 or T2 for hours just to be able to buy a skill book. And we can talk about that. But right now, I'm, I'm not going to, I shouldn't have much need for ISK outside of those. Open inventory again. Still can't double click here. Oh, actually, that worked there. Yeah, I can double click now. I'm slowly getting some normal sh shortcuts back into the game. Cargo hold. So we want this one. Do your item hanger. So. For those who are newer in EVE, when in doubt, right click. I'm gonna sell it. In this instance, we want to sell it to okay. Almost positive this is an NPC, NPC sale. Well, I know it is because I only guessed here. Well, yeah. The Akins. Akins. That is a difficult name to say. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for hanging out. And what's nice about this is because it's it's limitations I set on myself, I mean, I'm the one that's keeping myself honest on it. So if for some reason something were to happen, I'm the one that, you know, loses out. I don't remember a character ever starting with this much. Interesting. Hey, Atkins, I appreciate it. Are you, have you been hanging out before or is this the first time stopping by? It's definitely your first time chatting. It was definitely good to meet you. Market transactions. Let's extend this a bit. So I normally run Abyssal stuff. Oh, nice. Oh, well, welcome. Are you new to Eve? Let's see here. Transactions and honestly, this this tab right here is is where I'll make sure that I'm not conducting trades with players but for the most part it's gonna be very easy to know that because you'll be able to see where certain things are sourced in in stations in space and i'll be able to tell what's an npc uh transaction so taxes will hurt me and i eventually will address those with skills but i'm not gonna worry about it much at first close wallet oh awesome well welcome i've been playing eve for a long time uh, I definitely like interacting with with new pilots. So if you have any questions, one you're welcome to hang out here. But you're all, you can also hit me up in Discord or in game. Um, my in-game name is the same as the my stream name, so you can definitely reach out at any time. Next. Okay, going to the agency. So if you're new to the game, you can click through the agency here and there's a lot of different activities you can find in the game. You don't have to use the agency window to find them, but it's a good way to point you down a path when you start in the game. I'm going to go to career agents, so this is normally what we would call missions. Hey Dante, I appreciate the uh, Prime subscription. Really appreciate it. Like I said, it I do this for fun, and you're really you're watching me have fun, but it helps me um, pay for some of the equipment like this uh, mic stand. Setting destination. Now, from the little bit of missions that I've done lately, I, I know that this is a very similar interface to just the regular missions that we see now. Oh, well, I'm glad to have you. Close the agency. So really right now what we have is we're going to go start missions on this character, I believe. So yeah, normally what I'll do is um, content that's designed for older pilots, um, PvE specifically. I haven't done any PvP on stream yet, and I haven't PvP'd as much as I used to. I used to pretty much exclusively solo PvP, uh, but part of this character I will be getting back into PvP. Just because on my main tune, I've done pretty much everything I would want to do in the game. So this gives me a, a, a fresh way to approach the content. And that's what's nice about you. I'm just playing in a sandbox.
Okay, undocking. You can see we have our autopilot route up here. Oh, okay, so we have our radio menu now. So you're tuning in and you're new to the game, you can hold down left click and get this radio menu. I mean, you can definitely use the commands up here and you can right click, but this is honestly how I do a lot of my movement in the game. I'm gonna jump right there. So jumping is hold down left and go up on the radio menu. Galaxy Finder Submissions. I'm actually, I'm not familiar with that. What's the Galaxy Finder Submissions? Is that a Project Discovery? Which admittedly I've not done much Project Discovery. I know that some people are, are doing Project Discovery a lot to generate escrow, you know. But I mean, right now, and you could, we're very close to being able to afford like a T0 of this setup. That's all good. I, you, I'm, I think you mean product discovery for this right here. Well, no, this is a uh, virus stuff at the moment. Leftover from COVID, I believe. So we're gonna jump again. Our skill queue is still going. I wanna make sure I don't zero out on this. Yeah, yeah. I think it was initially for exoplanets. Okay, so this will be for armor repair. Normally I would go higher into hull upgrades, but I'm not going to be able to source. Probably the first damage control 2 that I get will be from PvP. So I won't train that right away. We will get repair systems up. So with shield boosters, even with low skills, your shield booster is already putting out as much shield HP per second as it can. As you train up in shield tank, that active shield repper will become more efficient. Um, with the armor repair skill, you get um, faster cycle times. So you repair more or you, you repair quicker. But that also means more cap consumption as you train up in your active armor repair. We're just going to throw this in here for now. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, that, that's what's nice about the game. There's a lot of different... So same way with jump, I'm going to left click, go up, and that's the dock command. Um, I might try some project discovery. I actually had not considered that. Uh, if I'm hurting on ISK, it might be something I do. But once I get set up and can do abyssals, I, I'll probably do that just because I like being a little bit more active in the game. So we've got repair systems. Let's get, let's just do my skills at the moment. Okay, so we actually start out with, we can get into a venture right away when we need ore. We don't need a lot of ore at the start because I'm pretty sure we're going to get a frigate we can use. Let's get, is that one hour? Yeah. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. And so my thought process on this is, is once I can start, one, I can obviously rat and loot modules that way, but even that's fairly limiting. What I can also do is create meta zero modules, so modules that you normally would not fit. And then if I'm just running a lot of low tier abyssals, I'll just, I mean, I'm not gonna sell the mutaplasmids, so I'm just gonna mutate everything that I make. And eventually I'll get something that's, you know, a good step up, or, you know, decent step up. Career agent. So you can also just click here and see the agents. Well, they auto-completed some of those skills for me, I believe. I think so. Okay. I should pay more attention to this conversation. Okay. So this is Enforcer. Now let's go the enforcer route. So abyssals are 
instanced PvE combat in EVE Online. Uh, they are time content, so on the one hand, you know that you'll always only spend you know, no more than 20 minutes in one of those sites, but especially earlier on, you're going very fast through the sites, um, and it's a good way to generate ISK for new pilots. And there's some randomness. Early on, there's not as much going on, so it won't seem as random. Uh, but as you go up in difficulty, there's these spawns are so large and there's enough randomness in those spawns that as far as EVE PvE goes, it can be uh, challenging and really entertaining to work through fits um, that can do all those spawns. Now, they've been out long enough that a lot of it has been solved, but there's, you know, everybody talks about optimal setups, just like other MMOs, you know, people talk about Oh, well, what's the best spec? Well, this spec gives you 2% more DPS, so it's obviously the best spec. Okay, well, if you put that aside, there's a lot of things that work in the game, even if they're not peaked optimization, and they can be fun. Okay, clear the pirates. Close. Close. Okay, so with this new air process, it looks like they have a skill plan they can give me. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I mean, you can definitely lose ships early on. And there's a great community for getting to know abyssals. Uh, if you join a game or in that Discord, that Discord link should work. If it doesn't work for you, just let me know. Actually, it looks like it might, might be airing out. So I hang out in Lurkers a lot. And I enjoy helping new pilots there. But a lot of people there can help you get into it. Okay, skill plans. Some of this UI is very new to me. Oh, you're welcome. A lot of good people in there that can help you out. Hey, Mercure. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. We are all noobs in our own way. Now, the most popular ship in the Abyss being the Gila. I definitely... I don't know as much about it as I should, but it's just because... Um, I, I don't personally enjoy flying it, and um, there are plenty of experts out there, so you don't need me. Don't need me to be an expert on it. So show skill plan contents. Okay, we're gonna use. I mean, we're gonna use all of these. Start training. We're gonna track it. I mean, early on, just just get something training. You're you're gonna use all these skills during your career. Or rather, I wouldn't worry about, you know, not being completely optimal yet. Especially if you're doing these ship skills. You're going to use that, these energy grid upgrades, anything that sounds like it's related to power or CPU, you're going to you're gonna use it. Yes, so Zorky also does a lot of work on the Abyss Tracker, which is a great website where pilots can go track their Abyssal runs and specifically the loot coming out of it. Yeah, like I said, I think they're going to give me a slasher out of this. Oh, you're welcome. So, uh, my Discord that pops up in here, um, I created that when I started streaming, and I've only been streaming for about a month now. I still mainly hang out in Lurkers, but I don't want to spam the Lurkers community because I did not create that community. Um, so even though I'm active in it and do post there, I, I, I don't want to put, you know, I don't want to overwhelm that community. That wouldn't be the right thing to do, in my mind at least. I think they're going to give me a slasher. Close. So right now what I'm in is a Corvette. It's not technically a frigate. It's just a starter option. What's nice is you can see this button here. If you're ever without a ship and you need one, you can get one right here for free. Read details. Okay, it looks like we got a good bit of our interface back now. Here's local, we're gonna want that. We don't need corp. 
Okay. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I mean, for the most part, even on my main tune, I, I don't have local uh, too large on my setup. I just want to see the who's in system. Okay, what else have we got here? Can we move our Neocom yet? Turn it on. Let's make it smaller. Okay, let's undock here. So right now what you're seeing on my screen is a new mission panel. And you can also access this through your, should be a journal. Unless they change the journal. Yeah, right here. Okay. And you can see when you're in, when you're in a mission, it will actually give you commands that you can just click on right here. That's not how I normally would do it as an, as an older pilot, but I'm going to make use of it for now. And then if you are interested in the Abyss, uh, I do have some lower tier videos already out. Uh, you can go through my VODs on Twitch, and I also have some of my higher content out as well. And so I originally had only a YouTube, and then I recently got into streaming. Because uh, I, have, I have a young daughter, and when I put out a video, I like to put a lot of time into it. And I, I found that if I wanted to continue putting out content, it's a lot easier for me to stream uh, versus being a perfectionist when I put videos out. But I do have some low tier um, starter guides for getting into the Abyss on YouTube. And that YouTube link is on my, I don't think I have a command for it, but it, it's on my Twitch profile. I had to set up one. Oh, you're welcome. So to target this guy, there's a few ways you can do it. You can, you know, you can click it here and then click up here. You can also control click right here. And you can also hold down control, left click and drag in space and target him that way. We've got, this is basically a point blank ship. I'm gonna set up a 500 meter orbit. Nothing fancy. And then I have keybinds that I've set up for this character. I don't always use the keybinds. I mean, I mainly use my mouse for movement and then I'll do module control. Like for this here is Q. Like this entire row right here will be my, uh, you know, QWERTY row. This row will be my ASD row. And then I don't have any active modules in the lows on the UI. I'm bouncing with this. I mean, it, it's not a big deal because it's a starter mission, but you definitely do want to pay attention to what your ship's doing. And then I, I manage overheating with the number row and then the zero. But again, that's because I, you know, I learned to play the game with mainly mouse movements. And you can see here, I'm not using like default movement commands here. I'm not clicking and, you know, clicking orbit. I'm actually double clicking in space. It's kind of difficult to see on the UI, but you can see a circle there, and that's where I double clicked if my ship's heading that way. But once I'm closer, I am going to use a default orbit command. Because I have decent tracking, I'm not going to worry with. I'm not sure. Yeah, Zork, I'm not sure what link you tried posting there. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll message you in disk to see what you got blocked on. Yeah, unless it's an Eve link that I've put on the allowed list. I just have most links set to deactivated. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll link up with you after and, and see what's going on. Okay. Just double clicking over here. And you definitely don't have to do that, but as you start facing more difficult spawns or enemies, um, you can mitigate some damage by not flying directly at them. But if you click them here and just hit approach, you will mostly fly directly at them and it makes you very easy to hit. Which early on you can get away with, but it's 
you can develop some bad habits. So, you know, practice how you fight. So after this mission, what I'll do is I'll take a short break because um, I need to refill my water. And it lets me stretch my legs. We're probably gonna stream for you know a good bit tonight um, as we get through this new character. Um, I'll run a short ad break while I go on uh, that short break. Um, definitely looking forward to anybody who wants to hang out in that time. Actually, we're going to loot right here. So with this setup, I definitely want to loot everything on the field. Just because I'm trying to source modules on this hardcore character. So radio manual again, I selected that rec. I'm going to go straight up to open. I'm going to passive targeter. Not all that helpful, maybe when I get into ganking, but for now I won't need it. And this is my overview. This It looks like it actually took my overview that I use elsewhere on this account. Um, I have a, a solo tab, a tab for only drones, a tab for wrecks and things that I might need when scouting, a tab for mining, a tab specific for the abyss, and a tab for only ships. But you can see when I click off of them, I'm not seeing this wreck right here. It just helps keep things clean because I'm a big believer in um, information overload and keep things simple. Yeah, after I finish this mission, I'll do a short break. Uh, looking forward to anybody who wants to hang out and continue on in this journey afterwards. Uh, if you haven't followed, uh, it definitely helps me out, and uh, because, like I said, I have a young daughter, I don't, I don't have a specific schedule at the moment. I'll dock here, so that's the easiest way to catch me online. Um, definitely don't don't feel like you have to subscribe here because I'm doing this for fun, and really, you're just watching me play games at the end of my day. Uh, but if you do have Prime subs and you're not planning on using them anywhere else, it it definitely does help me too. I'm not going to say no to Bezos bucks. Okay, so this is going to give me 2,000 EMP. That will be helpful for the Abyss. But really what I want is I want a blueprint to be able to source this. Okay, Zorky, let's see what you got. So what Zorky was doing was posting a link to one of my T0 Abyssal, so starter abyssal kestrel guides, which is that link right there. Hey so it's an older video, but nothing has changed in the abyss to make it not work anymore. And um, for the most part, I'm, I'm only going to release videos when it makes sense. Um, I, I don't, I don't really have a requirement to release videos, you know, monthly or weekly. So, and plus, I'm, you can always reach me in Discord or in Lurkers or in game. So, if you're curious if, if my content's still up to date, just just ask. We're gonna start this combo to finish the mission. What is this? Meta zero. Sounds good. I appreciate it. So, a lot of my videos for a long time was a PvP only channel. And there was a type of PvP that I was doing at the time where I was using ships that I could source from the Abyss. And then over time, I just started doing more and more of the Abyss. Yeah, I mean, that's... Well, one, thanks for saying that. Um, but I do like putting out what I think is, you know, reliable information. Have a quest mission here. Okay, so before we start this, like I said, I'm going to do a short break. Let's call it one minute. So I appreciate everybody hanging out and I will be right back.
Okay, we're back. Uh, you're talking about the Lurkers Discord? I know I updated it in the in-game channel. I'll have to check. I'll check my commands to make sure that I'm not spitting out a old Discord link in that. But if you need another one, I, I think you were in it, but if you need another one, just let me know. And I can update, make sure I've got an update link here too for mine. And I'll just get in the habit of making sure I have a new link every day. That one's my personal Discord right there. Okay, yeah, try that one. Okay, second mission. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for joining. Yeah, too easy. Yeah, I'll, probably on the next break, I'll I'll fix that um that command. So you, and you might have to remind me if you're still here. Okay, so new mission. We're gonna get a slasher. Okay, good deal. I mean, the isk is nice. It's gonna help me buy skills, but from what I saw, I already have plenty of that I can train right now. We're gonna go pick up civilians. Air is going to start giving us rewards, and that's what's nice about this new new system. So the CCP added these pathways in game to help you know kind of point you down a path, or recommendations for to point you down a path in game. The ISK isn't as helpful, but eventually they're going to start giving me items that I'll use. Um, I'm going to go down all these paths because it will also give me skill points. Um, da, da, da. Right now, we're going to just do these career agents, and we'll have some goals that we can hit here. I don't think there's... One thing I need to be careful with is... Okay, we don't need the authors. So, since this is on an account where I have, you know, not my main, but alt tunes, I need to make sure I don't take anything that I shouldn't. So that's this right here, and what I'll probably do is just on my regular account, I'll just eat all of these so that I don't have them popping up. Again, if if I mess up on my limitations, it's I'm the one that suffers, nobody else. Okay. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably create my own corp just to be in one by myself. I'm in a starter corp at the moment. And especially if I try to go down the path of creating structures, then I'll, I'll need my own. Good. This will get us out of the, the Corvette. We're currently training Rig 2. Okay. I could pretty much just leave this for a bit. Should be a pretty straightforward mission. So a lot of missions you don't have to kill everything. I'm going to though. I mean, as long as I'm not hurting on ammo, I'm going to do it. I mean, with the civilian gun, you don't have ammo, but they might drop something that I could use. And it looks like they're pretty much pointing me in the direction that I need to go for everything, which is nice. While I'm getting into range, I'm going to adjust this. Because normally I'll have this a little bit lower. Again, big on having things is minimized as possible and you know and still be effective and if you want these overview settings I can also I, I do need to create an in-game channel uh, centered around my main but this character will be in it as well but I can drop my overview settings in there but the thing is though is I am a strictly solo pilot even on my main so if you join up with another crew, you'll want to make sure you're using overviews that jive with what they need you to do. I'm going to make this compact as well. Let's see, more than enough room. And then what you're seeing here, this kind of overview of my position and relative to everyone else in space with these guidelines is the tactical overlay. 
you can turn it on and off right there. I prefer to fight with it on. Some people don't don't use it on, but it can just help get your uh, bearings, you know, in a 3D space when projected on a monitor. And it'll also give you like these orbit pads and when you double click in space, that's how you're seeing your path. And the main thing to know about using these um, orbits just by clicking orbit, you don't necessarily control the plane that this orbit is on. And it will also, you know, fly you directly to or from that distance uh, to get you to that orbit. And going back to earlier, talking about flying directly towards or away from larger guns, that can be a lethal mistake. So it is good to learn how to, what people call manually pilot and close the distance without using, you know, some of those basic commands. But once you're up close, you can, you can get away with a number of them. Okay, those guys are at a distance, so I'm going to loot while they're closing ground on me. You know, what's nice is outside of the abyss, there's there's no timer, so there's no rush. We don't necessarily need to be optimal with everything we do here. Not that you necessarily need to on in the abyss as well, but... And this is actually a mistake, so I have loot left over from my last mission, especially in a setup where, you know, I want to make sure I'm making the most out of my drops. I, sh I should drop these off. This is all stuff that I'm just going to have to reprocess eventually when I get the skills. So same deal, going left click and then drag it up here to get my default orbit. And I've set that by right clicking on these icons up here and setting my default orbit. And what I can also do is use keep it range which if you have the speed advantage, you can use keep it range to, excuse me, maintain a distance that works well for your guns. But again, it, it'll kind of stop you in space uh, relative to your target as long as you have that speed. Um, so it can make it easier to hit. So in higher tier content, what you'll see me do a lot of times is I'll, once I get to the distance I want to be at, I will alternate between orbit and keep it range based on what I'm trying to do. And then if you're that mainly works against NPCs, but once you start fighting players, you know, there's a lot more, there's a lot more going on because they get to do, you know, move their ships in dynamic ways as well. I don't think I actually got, we got the civilians already. Okay, we can dock. But for NPCs, you know how they're going to fly and you can manipulate that to your advantage. For those who are just joining, this is a character that I just created tonight and those are the limitations that I'm putting on myself. And really for the most part since I've, I've done everything I want on my main, uh, going forward I'll, I'll probably play this character a good bit. Uh, I probably won't exclusively play it on stream. If I have a big milestone coming up, I'll, I will save that for a stream. But if I'm just grinding out missions for loyalty points and standing, I won't. I won't make everybody watch that. But I should drop everything off. Okay, two of ten. Slash would be helpful. So these Corvettes are decent for starting up, but. As soon as you can get into an actual ship, so this frigate here, do that. But we need something to fit it out with too, though. We're going to get two more auto cannons from this mission. Yeah, let's see if we can, if we even have enough stuff to fit it out at the moment. I'm going to press Alt F to open up my fitting window. Let's take these off for now. I'm going to double click this slasher to construct it. 
I'm going to set the new name. I'm just going to call it Slasher. Always get in the habit of renaming your ships. Yeah, I mean, it's not being able to use the, the market. It means you have to do everything. Most things yourself. Um, just to have fun. Uh, end goal will be eventually tier two ships, which that will be difficult to, I mean, difficult to jump into right away. Uh, but it'll, it will be mainly a PvP character. But what's nice about Eve is early on when you're first starting, um, there's there's kind of a lot of stuff thrown at you, so it's easy to get pulled down a bunch of different paths. But if you can create a goal and stick with it, and so specialize, you can become pretty effective early on, even with lower skill points. So we have enough guns here, but I'm almost tempted to not use this yet, just based on our ammo constraint. So I might go back to the Reaper for a little bit. And when I was debating between Minmatar and, and Amar, I was Amar was pulling ahead of my mind just because the standard crystals don't run out of ammo. But I still think Minmatar is the play. Just because as I go a little bit further in this character's uh, life, it'll pay off. I don't need this mining module here, and I don't need this. If I could get another civilian Gatling gun, I could actually put that to use. But we'll just do this for now. Target system. Yeah, mainly just to have fun. Through PvP. So it looks like this mission is in the same system, so we're not going anywhere else. You can see my keybinds here too. So even though I don't have modules in those locations, you want to display your passive modules. So when you start using overheat in the game, you can see how your heat damage is on your passive modules. For now, that's advanced stuff. We're doing sticking with the basics for tonight on this character. Also, sourcing the, the pace to repair heat in space will be difficult. So we're going to go up. Okay, I'm glad that I, I took stuff off this ship. I wonder if this guy's just going to kill me. Just wonder if it's so this should be a drone or just i mean it he's on us so we're just gonna kill it but we don't need to kill it just gonna approach it there's a runner drone and what you can do is you can click here read details and see what we need to do Destroy the pirates, so I, I think I do have to kill him no matter what. And once this web is off me, it'll be easier for me to catch up to these guys. And it will help me mitigate damage a little bit more. So my shield will recharge passively, but I am getting close to the point where my shield tank is essentially broken. And I don't have a lot of armor or structure, so I'll, I might warp off and come back. I mean, I can always get another Corvette if I need to. Warping off is probably going to be the play here. Well, let's see. What you can do is I want to come right back to this location. I'm going to save the location of that wreck. I'm going to warp off. Actually, I'm going to go to station. Turn off my afterburner to get some agility back and I'll get out quicker. I killed one of those guys. And we warp out and repair really quick. But when I come back, I'm going to go right to that bookmark there. And I did that by just right-clicking that wreck and hitting save bookmark. You can also, while you're flying around, you can hit control B and 
it will bring up the bookmark window. And whenever you hit submit, it will create a bookmark in space. So you can do that for creating what people call safe spots. A mid warp between celestial, so a station in the sun maybe. Just so you have a place to hang out in space that is more difficult to locate. And in that case, you would need uh, specific probes to find it. I'm just going to undock and undock here to get my shield back. I could risk it. I mean, I'd already killed one of the frigs, but there's no rush here. We're training. I mean, we're, we are making progress here. I could hit that warped location, but I'm going to go here. The other thing is if you had a fit that preferred to fight at range, you could use that bookmark. I mean, I'm already in warp, so I can't do it again, but I could select, you know, warp to 30 and warp at a range where my guns are more effective rather than going to the center and then having to fly away. So I, I know it seems kind of slow at the start. For me, this is actually kind of fun just because I haven't done newer newer character stuff in quite a while. And when I have created alts, I'm, I usually have a goal in mind and I'm just kind of burning through everything. Okay, we're gonna go to this hijacker. And it looks like that name guy did whoop off. He was in a destroyer though, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I did not want to face him. Destroyers are excellent for killing frigates. I mean, they, they can kill a lot of things, but if they have a classic role, that's killing frigates. I'm actually going to move this out a little bit. So I don't need this name column. I might remove that. Actually, I might want it for some missions, so I'll keep it. But I want to be able to see my velocity better here. And I have transversal just off screen here, but you can use this to help you judge how your tracking should be with guns. But for the most part, I find that by the time you're looking at that, you're just kind of confirming what you already know. At least once you know what's going on in the game. And again, we do want to loot everything. I can't salvage everything, anything yet, but salvaging is on my... I have a short list of things that I want to accomplish early in the game, and getting salvagers is definitely one of them, because it'll help me create things that I need later on, which will be mainly... Well, there's no rig slots on a shuttle or on a Corvette, but I want to create rigs. Civilian gun definitely needs some help on DPS. And let's loot. And once I have the money, what I might do is. Hmm, I need a venture, first of all, to get some minerals. I could reprocess this metal scrap that I had back in the station. I don't think this guy's going to drop any loot. Basically, I need to work through sourcing ammo. And like, I've put thought into the, the limitations that I want to have, but I'm definitely doing this on the fly as far as like, hey, you know, I need to work through this now, I should do this. Because I definitely don't want to stay in a, a Corvette with the civilian gun. There's more EMP. I don't think we have any other wrecks here. I'm going to delete that bookmark now because I won't need it. And you can see as I pulled range on this guy, I just stopped doing any damage. Because for guns, you have your optimal range and your fall off range. When you're within your optimal, you have a 100% chance to hit based on the range portion of turret damage application. And then as you go deeper into fall off, you have a higher chance to miss based on range alone. 
Interesting. So the drone is what gave me the, the secret documents. You do have to kill everything there. Um, and eventually you get so far off and fall off that your miss chance is 100% just based on range alone. And then in addition to range, you're also dealing with tracking of guns. And that's why things like drones are popular and missiles are popular because you don't have to worry about stuff like that as much. There are other things you have to worry about with them though. crushing it on prison architect next to me. She is an actual architect though, so her prison is pretty impressive. So um, with drones, you mainly have to worry about the fact that they can be killed. Um, you can only carry so many drones, uh, so you need to make sure that if you're in a situation... So out in the rest of EVE, I mean, unless you're locked down, you can warp off and go get more drones, but... Uh, they can be killed. That's the main thing. So if you're in the abyss and you lose drones, you can't get out. Hey, Snake Doctor 9999. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so we're going to start combo, finish this mission. I want to venture. So we're up past a million already, which only three missions in, and I've been talking this entire time. I mean, you can definitely generate some starting isk, and I, I have. I've not given myself any help here because on those hardcore um, requirements, um, I'm not doing any else. Yeah, I've heard people call it Iron Man before. Uh, I didn't look into what uh, what people were doing for themselves because I know some people that I talked to, they have some restrictions that they lifted in that. So I just called it hardcore because it's really this is something I'm doing for myself. So I essentially just called it what I wanted to call it. Okay, request mission. Yeah, Iron Man is, is another common way to look at it. And I debated calling it one or the other, but to me, it, I think of hardcore when I think of that. Oh, you're more than welcome. I'm glad that you're here. And since you're in the Discord, again, you can hit me up about anything. I, I definitely can't stream all the time uh, just because real life requirements, but I'm usually lurking in game or in Discord and happy to help people out. So we have an actual afterburner here. And the nice thing about, I mean, watching this, for a, when you're starting out, the answer for a lot of this is going to be go to the market once you have ISK and you buy a proper ship and a proper fit. Okay, warp to Dead Space area. All we have to do is approach a target. I wonder if I can even kill some of the stuff that's here. And I want to make sure I take this loot out. Let's check, while we're in warp, let's check this air career as well. Okay, so we're getting a skill there, that's helpful. So I can buy skills from schools because that isn't that's an NPC transaction. I can also buy them in the skill window. Warp to location. But if I buy them in the skill window, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive. So here. Again, I need to clear some of these out because they're this is on a, another account. But these ones I can actually take. And Atkins, if, if there's another question that you, that you have, you can definitely toss it out there. I'm just kind of covering things as, as we encounter them in game. But you definitely don't have to wait for me to encounter something if you're curious about how something works. We just have to approach the Stargate, which is right here. Another pretty sweet looking environment. Okay, proceed with care. Approach. I'm guessing a spawn's going to come out that I can't take. But I've, I've dumped all of my loot, and I can get a Corvette instantly, so depending on what comes out, I might attempt it. I mean, it may not drop any loot, but... Now, 
that's the thing you can do. So there's a lot of fancy settings when you first create a character in the game, which I think are a little bit um, disruptive to play. And you can turn them off right here. That's what I was just checking. And also I, I was talking about keybinds. You can press escape, go to shortcuts. Oh good, I'm glad. And under shortcuts, you can set all of your keybinds. And similar to my overview, I I think set for uh, solo play. And I don't do capital stuff. I haven't really had a need for capital stuff in a while. Which for that is mainly I'd, I don't have any fighter command set up or any of the tactical overlay. I think we're just taking all that. So the Stargate's damaging us. Okay, so we'll just warp out. That's air. Okay, so essentially as we do this initial arc, we're gonna get rewards the entire way. Expert systems. So expert systems is, are essentially skills, trained skills that you can rent. Not a bad system, not, not something that you really need as, a, as an older pilot. I mean, anything that the game gives me at this point, I, I'm gonna take just cause why not? Or I, I might save it for when I know that I have some things I want to take care of. So this is all on career agent. So yeah, we're going to finish this node first. Our combo. Request mission. I mean, we definitely have plenty of ISK to get started at least. Okay, and we got a shield hardener. see what this guy has for us so this it's a civilian version but you can drop this in a mid slot and it will make you more resistant to explosive damage in your shields i'm not repairing shields actively but in this region of space i'm pretty sure i'm taking a lot of explosive damage so this will make me a little bit tankier actually how many turrets so okay I need to be smarter about this. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave my ship. I should have done this a while ago, if it'll let me do it. I'm gonna board my Corvette, see if it gives me another one. No, it just gave me one. So I potentially, let's do this. Okay, let's, let's be actually smart about this. What I'm gonna do, Create that bookmark. So we're gonna create a bookmark in space. Basically, I want to jump out of this ship and go get another Corvette, so I have another civilian gun, which will double my DPS. You know, to a, a whopping eight damage per second. And really what I should have done is stripped this and then undocked, but this will be fine. We're going to leave ship. Well, we're going to go to our safe spot and then we're going to leave ship. And then we'll just pick up the ship by the end of the night. Well, we'll pick it up some... Well, no, we'll pick it up right away because we want to get this up again. Like I said, I'm making this up as I go. As far as this character. I, I knew that what limitations I wanted to have and just kind of figure out, you know, how it plays, which is really is the whole, whole fun of it. Okay, so we're in our safe spot. I'm going to make sure I don't have an invuln timer. I'm not seeing it. Eject, here we go. Okay, so that should hang out in space for a little bit. We're gonna go back to our station. And 
really 2,000 EMP. I could probably stretch that for a bit. But the other thing is, I don't know if I'm going to hit a mission where they just decide to kill you, and I don't want to have, you know, ammo that I could use elsewhere and just immediately lose it. But that's why we're doing this. We're also seeing what new players are dealing with. It's interesting that there's a tornado sitting here. Right off the undock. Hmm. Wonder who he's waiting for. Okay, new Corvette. Afterburner, miner, gun. Okay. I'm going to leave ship on dock. So I'm just in my pod again. I'm on dock and I'm going to go get the other one. Yeah. Yeah. I know in the the starting scenario it was like that. So I'll just do my do my best to make sure I'm not I mean that's true for any situation in the game. You don't want to necessarily take more with you than you need. Take risks when they make sense. Let's see how we're doing on our playlist. Pretty sure I've been repeating a song for a little bit, so I apologize. Let's new song. So when I get to the bottom of the place, it actually doesn't reset. We'll just play that last song. Okay, yeah. So basically, I need to read what I'm accepting. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna board this, and I'm gonna dock. Neat little, little Corvette. And a lot of the art in the game is just top notch. I don't even know if I can perma run all that. Okay, so what this stable indicator right here tells me is I can run this afterburner and this hardener, and as long as I don't have any other pressure on my capacitor, then I can run it pretty much non-stop. Okay, cool, cool. Basically, since I don't, I don't have a blueprint for this ammo yet or a way to source enough minerals, I don't want to risk that stack. Not yet, anyways. Okay, civilian Gatling gun. I really don't need a nicer afterburn. I'll just stick with the civilian AV at the moment. Also, good to see you, Remy Main. Thanks for stopping by. So I've gone from T6 Icky Tursa in the last stream to Corvette mission running in this stream. I'm just covering the, the gamut of what you can do in the game. So I don't know if you've been lurking, but um, the main limitation I have for this character is no player transactions. Really, I can't rely on other characters for anything, so that would that would include alts or player created structures. Uh, I know when I go like the T two route, I might hit some walls with the structures. So if that becomes too limiting, we can address it at that point. But for now, and the goal for this character is I'm going to be in trig ships, so. I can do a lot with a bed mac. Okay. Good to see you. Hmm. Visit agents, call, join the cause. So he's saying attack him. We'll do keep it range. I mean, our tracking is, I'm, I bet it's pretty good. Yeah, 
715. If I can't track this guy in this ship, I can't track him with any ship. Especially when he's bouncing off the structure. You can really feel the double DPS. Blistering 8 DPS. Nice, nice. I don't think I ever actually got into a Nighthawk. I mean, I can definitely fly one, but never had a need for it. Okay, let's see what he's got for us. Oh man, our cup overfloweth. Prototype 200 millimeter. Let's go to station. I mean, I joke, but I'm going to use that gun when I get two more of them. Remy, are you running uh, the Vaga in Gammas? I'm guessing the large and self fit. It's nice that they're kind of blinking on the every view to tell you where to go. Things that older pilots definitely wouldn't wouldn't need and would overlook. And that's something I found putting a lot of the the fits together in in the abyssal community for new pilots is there's things that I just don't think of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, very cool. Vagus strong ship. You know, leave it, you'll hear me talk about when I when I run the Icky. I, th I think early on, you know, I, I talked about, oh well, the Vaga, the other turret ship that you can use in high tier abyss, and it's like, okay, let's be serious. This is a the Icky Turse is a smart bomb ship, and the Vaga is the only high tier turret ship. And honestly, a lot of people would say that my ship is should be taken seriously, anyways. It's okay though; they don't pay my sub. Okay, five of ten. We're going to get an implant. Destroy the outpost. Okay. That means we've also got stuff coming in from the, I need to keep checking the air program. Just isk at the moment. Nothing crazy. I probably will create my own corp just to get that to stop popping up. I could probably just put it on under local and have it hidden. And really, I don't. I don't need to see local right now. What is going on with this music? Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I was actually going through, I don't know if you hang out in the lurkers community at all, but I created a calculator and I was going through some application math. And uh, the other day I was running a Caracal and using the data that you have in Eve Reference and Eve Uni, we're, we're missing, I would say we're missing some information on say ham application against Damavix. So Atkins, if you're still here and for any other new pilots that are, that are still here, um, when missiles do damage, they factor in how fast the ship is going and, and how big that ship is essentially.
Okay, so kill the guards before we go through the gate. And there's, if you really want to nerd out on stuff and, and try to find optimal setups, you can essentially look into the math behind what's going on there. But yeah, Remy, so I was looking at um, the math that I had in the calculator and what I was seeing in game versus the Damavix and um, standard hams seem to be, so standard infection hams seem to be right where they should be, but raging ham, um, the number is significantly lower than what the calculator thinks it should be. So either uh, Damavix, we, I know that they sig bloom when they're traveling to you to the point where you're essentially doing full damage and then um, they have their sorry the baby monitor is probably within microphone distance here um, lost my train of thought so they and we know their sig value is supposed to be 192 their sig radius is 192 when they're in their orbit but the only thing that seems to make sense is either the damage reduction value on hams rage hams is incorrect or that damage is hitting another sig radius value that we can't see i do have a t4 serb dark serb fit which is fun to fly because it's it's not just you know mindless but it, it applies well enough with dual webs so heavy assault missiles they are a again it's, this is a good example so i'm going to warp out here um good example of older pilots taking things for granted things just make sense so there are for cruisers there are three cruiser size missile platforms yeah yeah um you have heavy assault missiles which we call hams you have heavy missiles which are long range and then you have rapid lights missile launchers and what any of the rapid launchers you see in the game what they do is they fire missiles very rapidly and then have a longer reload and there's obviously there's more nuance to it than that but those are the three cruiser types and for that abyssal content that we talk about hams are um if you have a missile specific boat hams are usually the play yep just like a burst um so when there's a timer in the you know in the abyss that reload can be kind of debilitating and limiting uh, but if, for things like in pvp it's it's excellent Really, any anywhere where there's not a timer, you can make those make good use of those uh, rapid lights. And going back to the conversation about application, so those missiles factor in speed and the size of the ship. Essentially, the smaller the missile, the more likely it's to do better damage against faster and smaller targets. Uh, those rapid platforms are firing missile sizes that are meant for hulls one hull type below so a cruiser shooting into a frigate essentially it will just have lower potential damage so if you can get those hams to apply their damage they will have the highest potential damage of cruiser sized missile ships the trick is just getting them to apply Okay, we're back in here. I would like a shield repper. We'll make do with this. I group my guns there. And really what I should do is I should keep my orbit up and not use keep it range. I, I can track just fine. I gain nothing by doing that. Orbit that guy. You're welcome. So yeah, with... That's... You work through how you can apply that damage with missiles, and then with turret ships, you work through how you can essentially move your ship to improve your tracking. 
And then when you have to also mitigate tracking from enemy turret ships, um, it's a balance. So like here I was talking about lowering what we would call my transversal so that I could apply better, but it's also causing me to sit still, making me easier to hit. And like I said, I have excellent tracking here anyways on these small civilian guns. Now, you can see that my shields passively recharge. It's just very slow because this is a doesn't have much shield on it. But the peak regen on the shields is right around 25%. So you can see once I hit below 25% on my shields, that's when I'm starting thinking about, okay, should I leave and come back? So shields will passively recharge, but armor and structure HP will not. Okay, let's make sure we loot here. See what they got for us. So we can go through the gate even though more NPCs came. I want to kill them though because I want to take any loot that they might have. And we're going to have to fly through them anyways. And you can see we're at 36% here on the shields. And I, I have those values displayed by I left click here and do display readout. But as we get into position, we're going to get some shields back. And I'll move this over here so you can see it a little better. We're just kind of getting some readouts on local from the NPCs. I usually don't have local listed, so I don't think to have it in a better spot on the screen. And down here is where I usually have my drone window. It's not a lot of recharge, but you just need just enough. And with that hardener, hey Atkins, I appreciate it. Thank you for the sub. It means a lot. Especially since you've been hanging out and that's what you've been, you've been good to talk to. So it definitely helps our explosive resist. Because you can see that, well it's not really doing much here because they're not doing explosive damage. And by not doing much, I mean it's not doing anything. It makes me feel good though, to have the explosive resist in there. You know, I, I definitely appreciate it. Like I said, I'm doing this for fun, and uh, the the extra income is nice. And once I pay off, that's great. I, I definitely appreciate the feedback. Um, once the equipment's paid off, that I'll just use it to help me pay for subs, my subscription in the game, and just really delivering content. I might change this out to the normal afterburner just to get a little bit more speed on this. Yeah, so far, I mean, it's definitely not a bad experience. I mean, if you were jumping into the game, I mean, I, I don't believe it's overwhelming. It, they seem to kind of lay everything out, and you've got flashing icons here for what to do. But there's definitely more to the game than just what's going on in these missions. And income-wise, their missions typically aren't that lucrative until you go higher up. You know, how much money you're making is, is relative to the pilot, but, and the investment that you're putting into it. Leaving the loot in the wreck after you obliterate the structure. Okay, so apparently we're going to pick up contraband, which is interesting because I can't think of anything in the game at the moment that still counts as contraband. It used to be if you carried um, nicer drugs, that was contraband. Maybe I'm, I'm forgetting something. Okay, so apparently sentry guns just came out and I don't have... Okay, I do have them on my overview. That is nice for having the local chat here to make sure you're not missing something. 
these are let's see what exactly they are i'm going to swap off of the outpost right now even though i probably could kill it but just just to kill these guys like i said i'm, I'm going to kill every mob that i can just because they might have stuff that i could use and even the metal scraps so i'll i'll be able to reprocess probably not for all that much yeah, tritanium 500 is not bad and what I should do is, while we're doing this, I'll look at what the requirements are for EMP. Yeah, it was saying, it's saying don't pick it up. I just, I guess it's probably just something that is contraband. It's just, to me, it's interesting that they're teaching that to newer pilots because I couldn't think of anything else that is contraband. Industry. Okay, yeah, that's that's not bad mineral cost wise. So if I move systems and I find a place that's selling that beam, that blueprint, I'm gonna grab it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I need to just not mess with that, and I'm just gonna kill the outpost. Awesome, yeah. Atkins, you've been great. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, as always, reach out to me whenever you want. And uh, in stream, if there's something that I'm, I'm kind of glossing over because I'm, I'm not thinking about it, I do exactly what you're doing and you know, kick me and say like, hey, I don't understand this, but it's good to meet you and looking forward to hanging out with you in the future. I guess I'm probably going to warp off and come back just because I was messing around with those sentry guns that I should not have. Yeah, bookmark that wreck. Let's leave and come back. And so, like, if you were in a slasher, you would be doing, you'd be doing this a lot faster. But that's simply because I'm, I'm saving that ammo. Uh, that, that it's taking me a little bit longer. Let's see where we're at on air. Still just, still just isk. This one is going to give me isk, isk. Hmm. Gives me a good chunk of skill points that I can use. And we're currently training. Repair systems three. Two hours, so let's get let's get frigate three over that because once I swap to the slasher, um, I don't have an armor repair yet, and I'll definitely use that frig skill. I mean, I'll be able to try train both every night. And we can get actually let's get projectile turret up there because that's forty minutes. Of, this will finish before I, I'm even done with the stream. Okay, let's repair here. And then what I do is, after I finish this mission, I'll, I'll take another short break just to stretch my legs and get water. So far, I've definitely been in this in the Corvette longer than I thought I would. And if I was, if I had started with the Mar and had those crystals, I probably would have immediately swapped to a Punisher or Executioner right away because they they won't consume that initial ammo. And the Punisher is definitely so. Going back to Abyssals, the Punisher is a great chip to start with. Um, one, I wanted to do something different just because I've, I've done a lot of Punisher stuff. Um, and then at tier one and tier two, there's not a there's not a turret Amar ship that I absolutely love. I mean, the Arbitrator is a missile and drone ship, which arguably is probably one of the strongest standard cruisers for new players in tier one and tier two. Um, aside from the Amar cruiser skill, 
it relies on. Um, it, it shares a lot in common with the gear like that and the fact that you people want to put armor tanks on it. Um, but with Minmatar, I get the Stabber, which is an excellent cruiser that you can get into at tier 1 with not a lot of skill points. So yeah, like I said, I, I won't do only this on stream. I'm, I'm still going to do content on my main, um, and I won't. I will continue to play this character even off stream. Um, I will try to save my major milestones for the stream, though. But right now, um, I mean, I'll do. I'll continue this on stream overnight. But what I'll probably do is once I can get a venture, I'll knock out some mining just when I, I can't really commit to the game just to build up a stockpile of minerals. Not that we need a whole lot. I mean, even just re reprocessing this alone gives me a bit of titanium. You know, relative to, to what my actual needs are. Yeah, maybe. I mean... One of the main strengths for the Punisher, the strength for the Punisher, is just four turret hard points. Yeah, the the retribution, as far as assault rates go, that's especially at low tiers, is arguably the the strongest option. But it will be a little bit before I source anything tier two on this, uh, so I'm I decided that was another reason why I decided not to go with Amar. And these guys are already wrecking me a good bit. I'm just going to stick with it. And I might actually have to come back and just do the slasher. Which we have the ammo. If I need to use it, I need to use it. should be okay though. Depending on how much structure HP it has. Yeah, the... So the Punisher's strong, obviously the Navy Magnate's strong. The Crucifier Navy issue is also pretty strong. Obviously, the, the Navy Magnet would be very difficult for me to source. I mean, I would have to acquire the Blueprint. Not the end of the world, but... You know, of things that I could be doing, not something that I decided I should do. Nice, nice. So the Crucifier Navy that I was running was at uh, 300 DPS, I believe, with Conflag. Yeah, it, I, and that's how how I viewed it. So I am going to work off because I'm not just going to kill this slasher or kill this reaper here for no reason. So I would say that probably at this point they expect you to be in the slasher. No, I use conflict. I use pulse on it. I want to say that the crucifier navy issue that I was using was pulse. Let me see. Yeah, it's Pulse. I'll pull it up here. Just because I didn't, I didn't need the the range. But that's what I run in, in T1, and it, obviously it, it's not going to outperform a retribution. But it, this is a mean little setup. Okay, so let's pull this off here. We're just going to put a slasher together really quick. Shut this down, shut this down. Got Gatling on auto cannons. Group those. How much ammo is that? 
It's 500 ammo for that. Okay. Let's do another 500. Shouldn't need more. Do a big boy afterburner. Strip these. Okay. Hardener there. I don't think I can really... I don't think I have much use for anything else here. Okay. So yeah, it, it looks like two pulse, a NOS, obviously the tracking disruptor, and three heat sinks. But a 25, 26 mil uh, ISC fit. It's interesting that they have not given me a repper of any kind. I mean, if a Reaper passive recharge nearly does a trick, then any Reaper will do the trick. So with the ECM changes, um, whenever you jam a target, they can still target you. Also, good to see you, Henry. Thanks for stopping by. So my main character that I created, the one that I still play that I created in 08, was actually a Rook pilot. And ECM has, has gone through a few changes since then. Yeah, these days, if, um... Ah, yeah, okay. So yes, I could. Yeah, yeah. So, when I first made that, the Rook was a very popular solo pirate ship because you could just stack the strength of them. And even after that initial change, which obviously was healthy, um, it, it was still very strong and just not fun to play against. I would say where it's at now is reasonable. I mean, it's reasonable enough that it's not like I see Falcons all over the place anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like on my ESS setups, it's everything is just, okay, well, can I kill a Falcon? If I can reach a Falcon, then it's fine. Yeah, this slasher is moving twice the speed. What's funny is for ESS, you can do a meme passive recharge rook fit. So, you know, you're not on D scan and people just come in there's just this dumb rook with a huge tank. The only time I did that though, what came in was a Brutix with three executors. So I guess I got what I deserved on that. It was just like, okay, well, it's going to take a little bit for you to kill me and I'm not going to kill any of you, but... That, that was the life of my passive rook. Still a fun ship. Okay, now that we're doing more than 8 DPS, well, wow, 34 DPS, we are cooking. Let's go loot this. So yeah, I've, I haven't done the Rook as much, but one of my favorite solo ESS ships is the Curse. Tag. Don't have anything else here. Okay, let's go dock. Took way longer on that mission than I should have. And we'll just we'll just use this ammo while we have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slapping with that. EMPS on the slasher. Yeah, Phantasm is nice. So my favorite though is the Bedmac. And this character is actually named for how I name my uh, ESS Bedmax. And in my uh, Discord, which I need to update my Discord link in my commands, which I can, I can do that right now. So in my Discord has a PvP channel and I have my old PvP videos in there and in that has uh, two Vedmac videos, Vedmac specific videos. Uh, so let me turn in this mission here. Okay, request mission. Retaliated. I'm just looking for the mission that's going to kill me. Okay, I'm going to get a repper here. Sweet. 
get it when I accept the mission too. Okay, very, very good. So we're almost done with the career agents. Let me take another short break. I'm going to do two minute break this time to let me refill my water again and, and stretch and check in with wife and kiddo. So uh, if you haven't followed, uh, it's definitely helpful for me. And since I don't have a regular streaming schedule at the moment, it's the easiest way to catch me online. Uh, you can join that discord there. Um, but yeah, I, I will always post when I'm going live in that discord for sure. And usually on lurkers as well, if, as long as it's abyss related. Um, but yeah, two minutes. I'll be right back. Discord command should be updated with a better link now. I just need to make a habit to change that every day. Cool. Yeah, the uh, Navy Omen is such a great ship. And it mechanically it flies very similarly to the Bedmac. Okay, so let's our fiddle a little bit. We're going to put this wrapper on it. I mean, it doesn't make sense to have this dual tank, but no reason not to have those resist on there. So those that stuck around through the ad break, I, I appreciate it. Like I said, I, I do this for fun and, um, you know, subbing is never necessary. Uh, but hanging out through ads is an easy way to support the stream and help kind of offset some of the investment that I have into the setup. So, thank you. Okay, let's get this up here. So, one of my initial goals is to get into Abyssal so I can start getting mutaplasmids, even just the cheap mutaplasmids, since I have no reason to sell them. And I'm just going to start rolling these MetaZero modules to give me a, a leg up. Before that, I need to source my ammo. I don't know if these guys are going to dunk me. 
Interesting. So I, I hit ad break. So it should have posted two minutes of ads there. I, I could have messed it up. Okay, so we're very quickly chewing through these guys. Pretty sure I'm not stable leaving that rep around. Not that we need to do it. Yeah, 37 seconds, that's fine. I appreciate the feedback though. So what I'll do, Henry, is I'll I'll do a test at one point and see if things are working the way they should. So what I, I definitely have is I have pre-roll ads off. Just because it, there are times during the stream where it makes sense to take a break. And I'd rather make that call than just a timer, a universal timer. Okay, so we are actually taking explosive damage here. So this hardener is doing something. Hopefully these guys drop some ammo. I wonder if they're just going to keep coming until they kill me. I'm definitely orbiting a little bit outside of my... I mean, my range is point blank, yeah. I'm just going to use approach. Definitely get to see slower guys if they stay slow. Hijackers are moving you know, twice as fast as the outlaws. Oh, 100 more EMP. What else we got here? Back in computer, that'll help. So what the tracking computer is going to do is uh, improve our application by extending our damage projection and improving our tracking, which I mean our tracking is already excellent. Um, even then we got a graze. That graze was probably more because we are in fall off. Okay, all clear. You can see just having the higher DPS. I mean, we don't need nearly as much tank now. It's interesting about the ad. I'll see what's up. Drop this off. We're gonna fit that computer, because why not? And let's plug this in. I've been looking at it, I should have done it earlier. Combo. Now I bet my timer is still the wrong squared link. mission. So for those of you who just joined or recently joined, I, I just created this tune. I'm an older pilot in the game, but I wanted something else to do. So uh, the limitations on this character is the main one is I can't have any transactions with another player, whether it's through the, through the market or through contracts. And there are some other small limitations, not small, but other minor limitations, but that's the major one. Achieve the VIPs and we'll get overdrives for it. Okay. 
It is nice that it's all pretty much in this system. Get this up here. So what I typically have, how I set up my modules for, I guess, micromanagement. Offensive stuff goes in the top row and defensive and prop mod goes in that middle row or the bottom row for me. Which the hotel. So I don't have this on the overview, but the bracket is showing, so I'm, I'm okay. Just because I normally I don't do a lot of missions, so I don't need to have usually don't need to have large collidable objects on my overview. Okay, smart bomb. Let's get out of here. I wonder how far this range is. Like, if it's going to nuke me. Because I would like to kill these guys. I'm going to turn off the tracking computer. We don't really need it. I'm going to turn off the hardener because we're already out of shields. We're just going to occasionally pulse this repper. Because there's no reason to over rep. And the main difference between armor and shields is for a shield booster, when you press the button, you get HP. And then on armor, you get the HP at the end of the cycle. And for that reason, a lot of people, some people are less comfortable with armor tanks. So we don't have to kill these guys right now, but I want to do it uh, to see what they might drop me. And you can see there, I, I overrepped. I mean, I'm, I'm doing okay on capacitor, but you know, especially when you're learning, try to build good habits. And this guy's mostly just kind of hanging out, so I'm actually going to turn off my afterburner because I was getting grazing in there. And. What I'm doing is I'm watching this damage readout to see how my guns are doing. Turn off target movement here. No loot there. Okay. Well, I just gave them EMP ammo. I say with just those few missions we've used, we can just do it this way. Okay, not that much. About 109 EMP. I mean, it, it is interesting having that limitation because it's it's things you wouldn't normally think about. Or maybe it's just been so long and people do think about it, but I definitely haven't. Start combo, getting very close to the end of this. So these overdrives will reduce our cargo hold, which I don't really care about, but it will increase our maximum velocity. And the stasis web fire will help. So this module right here will help slow our targets down. Destroy warehouse. We are getting a more risk than I thought new characters started with. Like with this money alone, you could get a T0 abyssal fit and just hop right in. So knowing that whenever I put out a T0 abyssal guide, I'll just say do the career agents first and then you'll have the money for this fit. definitely don't want to do more missions than I really have to. There, there will be a point to them later on, but there are other things that I want to take care of. And this money here is 
I will, I will try to use this slasher for as long as I can. The other ships that I'll buy initially will be a venture probably and a probe. The venture for mining and the probe for exploration. And once I have those, I, I can do a lot. And then I could, I'll go to the Thrasher next. And the Thrasher is probably one of the main reasons why I picked him in Matar. It's just a, a great Tech 1 destroyer. I'm going to let me go through this gate. Yep, let me go through. I'm starting to get the impression that a lot of this stuff is just scripted to not really drop a lot of ammo or drop a lot of loot. Destroy the warehouse. We're going to kill these rookies. I'm instinctively hitting my armor repper there because I'm used to having to flying in content where I immediately lose my shields and need to get my repper started, but it's, it's really not necessary here. And you can see just how much, I mean, against these enemy corvettes even just this little dps just crushes them but they all did drop loot got a hijacker showing up actually let's loot this one scraps again this one scraps again so we need it's 500 tritanium for each one and that will go directly into ammo Let's kill this hijacker. If I kill that guy on the way by. Um, another good starting option for main Matar frigates will be the Rifter. Just for a lot of the content, the Slasher is more than capable. And I would rather have, there's a target pair where we can use that. Um, I would rather have the faster base speed. Just because you can see, I mean, especially a couple missions ago when I, I warped out a couple times in that Corvette, uh, travel time alone was where most of my time was going. That's true for a lot of content in EVE, is travel time it counts for a lot. Scraps. Scraps. This outlaw is just going to come in on his own. Let's find the structure here. Oh, it's the one glowing on my overview. Reload while we're moving. So I might hit a point where the next move I make is just go buy an EMP blueprint. So there, there's no reason to keep moving while I'm shooting a structure. I'm just going to go up next to it. And get the most out of my guns. See where we're at on air while we're crushing through that. Okay. And I will use, I will go down all those air paths just to kind of give me a boost and because I'm going to have to cover a lot of bases. Stock. So yeah, if you are enjoying this content, definitely let me know. I'm, I'm going to play it no matter what. I'm pretty much with my entire stream. It's uh, hanging out with friends, talking. So. If you're interested in catching me another time, definitely drop me a follow. That's the easiest way to catch me. Okay, let's drop off our loot. We can definitely use a target painter. I'm not gonna not gonna risk it at the moment just because we're doing fine on application. Really I'm gonna drop that computer as well. 
get a little bit more. Actually, let's bring this lead. We'll use it. Bring a little bit more EMP. Just so we don't have to warp out of a site. That should be enough. Weber we will use. And it end you end with a rifter. Okay, interesting. So So basically this will be a, a threat to our ship. Okay, what we'll do is this. It's definitely a risk, but I mean, that's what the game's about. Let's take the Weber. We don't really don't need the application mods. Let's take one overdrive because that's all we have room for. Does this actually take a hard point? Yeah, it does. Okay. So we'll just go with this. It's saying if I if I take hull damage to warp out immediately, so we'll see how bad it is. Oh, we're actually leaving system two. Sweet. So for this career path, I, I picked Enforcer. Really, I, in the grand scheme of things, I bet one of these other ones might have been a smarter option. What, I, what I'm not sure is if once I finish Enforcer, if I can't do the other ones, but I, I think I can do the other ones. One more jump. And that rifter that they're giving us, I, I won't do it anytime soon because you need, you know, decent skills, but you can use that rifter in tier one dark abyssals. That was actually when I started doing the tech one frigates, that was the first one that I, I put a good bit of time into. Way before the Kestrel. It's just a fun ship. Definitely, I mean, compared to the Kestrel and the Punisher, it's not as optimal, but it is fun to fly. Let's see how this goes. So I would say saving the ammo early on was definitely smart because I would not want to hit this and not have EMP. One thing that might be another good option is for me to unequip one of these guns and put a civilian gun back on it. Just for rooms like this where I may not need, you know, all the DPS, then I have a, an option that doesn't use ammo. And I'm just going to use the wipe here to kind of hold him down. Let's loot while that guy's coming into range. I mean, if, if it was a normal pilot and I wasn't worried about ammo so much, I would just, you know, not think about it and just activate my guns. But that's just, ooh, we got titanium sable, we'll use that. So Sabo is a longer range projectile round that improves your tracking. It will be lower potential DPS though. And when these other ships are closing on you, definitely kill the actual threats. Because so far, I mean, we're using our passive recharge alone to clear this. And then we can kill the rookies while we loot. Thugs, another one. And then if you can't really see the wrecks clearly here, you can always go over and click the, a different column in your overview, depending on how you have it set up. Let's loot this and we'll kill these guys. We'll kill that one. More metal. More metal scraps. 
Phase plasma. Okay, that's so very similar to EMP. It's just it primarily does thermal damage. And when we jump into abyssals, I will bring some of that with me to kill the skybreaker. Okay, on to the next room. We're going to deactivate that hardener for now. It's interesting that you start with EMP and they don't start you with fusion, just because the Minmatar ships, if they have, you know, like a thematic damage type, it's explosive. Okay, four rogues. And all I'm doing here to get started is that I'm double clicking in space just to go in their direction. And I wanna go, I know I wanna cover this 26 kilometers to go to the gate anyway, so I'll let them catch me at the gate. Again, we're not on a timer here, it doesn't really matter. Our small projectile turret skill just went up, so we just got another two DPS on our fit. So for those hanging out, if, and if you're interested enough, um, I mean, do you want? Would you want to see me do all of the career agents on stream? Because I mean, there's stuff that I could do off stream. That you know won't be as um, engaging. Is not the right word, but plenty of logistics I could take care of on this on this pilot. tracking disruptor and it's definitely nice because things that you normally would not care about is suddenly very valuable valuable to you and if any of the other career agents give you a salvager then i would almost say that that is definitely the way to start i mean not that i imagine this is going to give us a lot of salvaging to start with and you know, a salvager with not a lot of skills is going to take a while to cycle and successfully pull anything out of it, but we, we will use that salvage when we want to make rigs. Okay, no loot there. Look over here. And again, I could potentially just take this gate and leave, but these guys are, are dropping modules that right now I can't source anywhere else. Like, this is a meta module. You can't you can't make this. And you can see in variations, like I could make this tracking disruptor one, and eventually I can make a tracking disruptor two, but I can't make these meta versions in the middle. Which for a lot of ships, especially on frigates when you're hurting on fitting, will be what you use. So spending the time and ammo is, is worth it to me. Okay, he has a name, so he dies first. I'm pretty sure is true for all video games. Okay, we're being webbed. We do have the... I mean, it's frigates, so while being webbed is not fun, they're, these frigates are probably applying on us anyways.
And then once they get through my shields, I'm going to turn this hardener up and I'll start repairing my armor. Maybe this guy drops something nice. Oop. Ultimately, we haven't used too much EMP. Another light auto cannon, slightly larger than the 125s. They'll track a little bit worse, but they'll project better and have better potential damage. But for these small guns, everything you're, you're tracking very well. Head to bed, so we now have command of the living room. So we live in a townhouse, so our dining room, living room, and office are all the same room, which is usually why when I stream it needs to be late. Capsule came out of it. Interesting. So Stian was in there. Okay, Stian, well, I'm going to pod you. Didn't drop loot either. Okay. Set destination back home. I guess technically we could have taken his corpse, but we don't need it. Unless I can fire that corpse out of these autocannons, I don't care about it at the moment. Which, maybe if we, you know, attempted a forceful reload enough, we might be able to make it work. So that was 10 of 10. That was the end of the will be the end of the enforcer career path. I wonder how that compares to the soldier of fortune one. I didn't even train you in soldier of fortune. The, so we have two cats and a dog. So we fight the you know, forever roar of against pet hair in our house. And I'm pretty sure we're losing. You're just playing games and randomly, you know, your mouse decides it doesn't want to work or you know, cat hair is assaulting your eye. And that's with keeping up with it too. Sweeping and vacuuming. Okay, start combo. Drop our loot. See what this guy has for us. Drifter. Excellent. Okay, so that is complete. What do we got here? I'm gonna give us some ISK, expert systems, some skills. Okay, so that path is complete. Set this to floating, don't need to be full screen. So from here, go back to activities. I think that's the only air reward we will get for those career agents, but I still want to do the other ones if given the option. Maybe that was specific to enforcer. Oh yeah, okay, so I can do all of them. So this would be under industrialist. missions are giving us.
They don't have selling in there. Ooh, we won't be able to complete that. Can't imagine. Yeah, earn on. So, no, that's actually just earning. Once we do abyssals, we can complete that because we can sell to NPC orders. Salvage. Manufacturing, research. Okay, we can do all that. Soldier of Fortune. EP support. <laughs> That'll be interesting. I was just finding something to remote repair. Okay. So let's do let's do industrialist next. Which is not something I normally would do. Get this cleaned up a bit. We should have the Richter here. Yep, got the Richter. go back to I think it's the agency yeah. okay so enforcer complete let's do industrialist probably gonna have some mining in it hopefully they give us a venture okay Thousand units of Veldspar. Okay. Special location. Minor one. Except. I can't remember if this has a bonus to the miner on it. No, it doesn't. So I'll just do it in the. This is three high points. We'll just do it on the slasher. It's fast. Here are these. So normally when you're doing this mining stuff, you want to match it, you know, match to a hull that has bonuses for it. We'll keep the armor rep around there. And we do have a mining laser upgrade, so we'll drop the um, overdrive, we'll put the mining laser upgrade back on, and then we'll put these two civilian miners on. You're out of CPU. Put that on there. I'm going to get this on here too. So we need a we need a CPU module. I wonder if the Richter can do it. Might be able to do it if I go with the civilian AB. We have the minor one on here as well. Yeah, okay. Let's try this. So the correct way to do this would be to open up the fitting tool and see, but we got time. It's interesting that they ask you to go mine and you don't really have a mining ship yet. I mean, you have the Corvette. 156. Coke mining laser. Okay, so that alone. Okay, we're at 19. I'm done. Let's just do this. We've got more lows that we can use here. Put the afterburner on here. And in case anything shows up in this belt, I'm not, I don't want to use ammo on it, but we have a civilian gun, so it doesn't require ammo. Keep the web on there just for that same reason. No, nope, don't have CPU. Should still be able to get the armor on there. Okay. These won't take any fitting cost. They, they cost me cargo space, so that, that's not causing a problem. A thousand Veldspar. I think that'll that'll fit in there. So we just finished the again. If you're just joining, we just finished the Enforcer Career Agent line. We're gonna go down the Industrial one next, and it will help me source what I need for ammo. And that is not a lot of four per second. Hey Tesla, good to see you. Definitely different content than you've seen me doing before. I decided to, and I can't remember if you were in one of the recent streams where I was talking about it, but 
I wanted a new tune to just, you know, try something different. And this character is built around the idea of not being able to have you know, transactions with other players. You need to mine Veldspar. Mining, that's why I'm dumb. You can see how little I use that mining tab. I do keep it there though, just occasionally when I need to scan something in PvP. That's our cycle time on this. Okay, a minute. Not too bad. So yeah, I, I just created this Minmatar tune. Um, it will go through Abyssals, definitely. But right now I just, I don't have the ammo or what I need, not too much of the filaments. I'm going to have to source the filaments to be able to do it. But it, it just means by the time I source it, I, I should have the skills I need to successful, successfully clear T0. So there, something that I never, in all my time playing EVE, I would never have guessed that I would have had a mining rifter, but it's happening right now. I have had a, a light missile rifter before because um, back when Faction Warfare got its last major change and standard frigates were being reworked, slicers were very popular. Okay, so that did give me enough. I just had enough space. Um, so slicers were very popular, which were kiting fit. And the rifter had another high slot, first of all, and it still has two missile hardpoints. So you can get two light missile launchers on a rifter, and while it doesn't do enough DPS, it does enough DPS to kill a slicer that's not expecting it. So it still works, um, and if you come across a lot of kiting fits like that, you can give them a nice surprise. Okay, so we have a thousand, we can go back. Just looking what's what's available to you. I mean, I'm wondering if they're expecting new players to navigate the market at this point. What is what's even on the market in the system? Let's set it to station. I wonder if even something like ammo is on the market here. It'd be nice to see if this was who was sourcing this. I mean, those definitely look like players. What else is here? Blueprints. Oh, so we do have an EMP S blueprint here. Good. So we're going to, do I want that? Do I want EMP? Yeah, we'll go with that and I can afford it. So I'm gonna buy this blueprint. This is from, this should be from an NPC. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this and I'll check the market transaction tab and if it turns out it's a player, I'm gonna delete it. Here, market transactions. Republic University. Okay, that that is an NPC, so we're good. I will eventually be able to research this down. I don't have any Pyrite or Noxium yet, but ideally on this industrial line, I will get some. I wonder if I can even use this here. Yes, I can. Okay. I wonder if I can reprocess these yet. Be enough titanium right there. Start our combo. Get another minor one. Okay. 
find any asteroid belt, mine Veldspar, need at least 100 units, reprocess it here, and we'll give you a venture. Good. So they gave me a minor one, but because I was looting all those NPCs that I was killing, I actually have a, a slightly better one already. Uh, so those who have dropped by recently, I just created this tune. It's a Minmatar tune, and it's these are the limitations that I'm playing with it or on it. So let's go to, let's just pick a belt here. So yeah, just, just thinking about the modules that are available here, and it's easy to see how new pilots might go down a path that, you know, a lot of veteran players would say is not optimal, optimal ways to fit a ship. And maybe just, you know, limiting myself by not using the market is just that problematic. And honestly, I bet more of the stuff on the market here is, is NPC source, but if I just outright buy, you know, 5,000 EMP, that, that's going to take some fun out of it for me. So I, I could buy one EMP and see if it's a player, but I'm not worried about it. I'm going to do all these career missions anyways, so there's no rush. And then what we'll do is, after this mission... I'll take a short ad break. Uh, it gave me a chance to refill my water and stretch my legs because I've been going for three hours. Uh, so I, I stream for fun. Um, I really am playing Eve and just talking to the friends. So you never, never feel the need to subscribe at this channel, but hanging out during those ad breaks does help me you know, offset some of the, the money that I put into getting things together for the stream. Not to mention it, it helps me pay for activities that I do on the game. And if you haven't followed, uh, following obviously does help me on Twitch as well, uh, but I don't have a regular schedule at the moment, um, especially with this this content. I'll, I'll try to do it a little bit more regularly, but following me is the best way to catch me. And I'm also, I mean, this Discord. Okay, so one cycle, we're good to go. Let's go back to the station. bouncing off the asteroid here. It's not a big deal, but if you're in a situation where you were trying to escape some PvP, you want to be cognizant of you know, where you're at, and you really don't need to be on top of an asteroid. Okay, we'll be able to you know, get rid of the abomination of this rifter fit and move into adventure. Maybe we'll get a drone out of it too. So we need to reprocess this. So to do that, we're gonna we already have some belts bar, so we're gonna right click, reprocess. And just hit that right there. Obviously it wasn't that efficient because we have low skills and this is an NPC station. And with that completed our mission. Hey Beowulf Gang. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the content. Good to meet you. Okay, complete mission. Quest, let's see what we get next. Okay, sweet, so well, I mean, it's a civilian blueprint. It's interesting. I won't really have much of a use for it yet, but maybe. Maybe there's something, there's potential there that I'm not seeing. So we'll accept that. And short two minute break while I get water and stretch my legs. Right back.
Okay. Knock out a few more of these missions this evening. So we should have the venture now. We not actually need to get in. I wonder if it would actually let me just complete that mission by taking these civilian afterburners that I have putting them in my hold. Either one. There. Back to the Richter. which we're here. Interesting. Yeah, I still didn't do it. Okay, let's do it the appropriate way and, and build this. So we need two. We're going to do two job runs. We can afford it for sure. Start. That will actually take 10 minutes. So I could start the Soldier of Fortune path, but... Let's see what other minerals are in system. Just because I, I have a source of tritanium now, but because like I can reprocess this, I'm going to try to hold on to it for as long as I can until I get my reprocessing skill up. So upgrade here. Don't need the civilian miners. We're just going to strip this. Should give me I think, everything back here. Minor one. Gaussian. Shouldn't need much tank. Want that hardener. This afterburner. Still no drones. Nothing else to put there. Feels weird, you know, undocking when you don't have a fully fit ship. And rename. So the correct way to do this, what I'm about to do, will be to, you know, go on Google and research for, but I'm, I'm going to try to also in this playthrough use as much of the in-game resources. So I believe I can go to the agency resource harvesting asteroid belts. Yeah. So Scordite will give us Pyrite, which we do need Pyrite. So let's go find some Scordite. Still need Noxium. And so why we want this is I, I need to make my EMP ammo. So we're just going to go top belt. For such a, a beginner ship, this is probably one of the better looking ships in the game. And the Tech 2 version of this I use frequently. There's already a lot of ventures here. Let's see what they're, they're going for. Here's a Scordite here. They're on Scordite. Condensed Scordite on that one. That one's mine. So I moved over to the condensed scordite just to get a little bit better efficiency out of this. Stop my ship. 
Same deal, no reason to be right up on in this asteroid field. That'll be okay. That's my range on these. 10 kilometers. I think that's all that's here. Yep. So if we need Noxium, step one, spell it correctly. I'm just using the search bar here to kind of navigate through the items that I need. So I want EMPS under the industry tab. I know I need pyrite, which this cordite's going to give me. Noxium. So where does Noxium come from? Jaspit. Okay. I think this might be low sec. Can't honestly remember. go back to the agency and again I, because a lot of this stuff was added to the game after you know I really got into things and, and made a character a lot of this stuff is newer for me which is nice so let's find Jaspit and this whole interface here is actually pretty neat any distance so four jumps away yeah it is low sec and we'll use all of these what does Kernite give us now I know Kernite is also in the air requirements, so we will eventually go there anyways, and we'll use both of those. Okay. And this will give us 95 pyrite. Actually, while those afterburners are doing their thing, I might... Let's go over, let's go to low sec. No reason to hang out here when we know we, we need to go get that stuff. Jaspit. What I will do is go to Dotland to pull up the map just to see what systems are in the area to, to see if I'm, you know, working in a pipe or anything that doesn't make sense to risk my ship in. Anchor. And that website is this good resource to have. So I know that there's, it looks like there's been a lot of kills there recently, which would make sense. There's probably a lot of people going there trying to do the exact same thing I'm doing. I wonder if that's actually on the gate. I'll also go to Z kill board and check to see what we got going on there. So for that system, this is what I'm looking at. So a venture was just killed, you know, about an hour and a half ago there. In the belt, in the belt, okay. So as long as it's not on the gate, we might be able to pull that off. Let's see what is around us. Back to the map. Ishanoon. Let's go there. This one. Let's try this one. It's one further jump out, but might give us better results. Let's drop this ore off first. I'm not going to wait for this cycle.
Yes, new character. Uh, we were talking about it last stream, I think you were here. And um, basically, it can't have any transactions with other players. Uh, first three hours of the stream was going through the initial scenario and the enforcer career agent, and now I'm working on the industrial path. And why that will be helpful for me is, like right now, I really need to source my ammo for my auto cannons. And completing this mission. What do we got here? Okay, mine belts bar and, and destroy drones. Well, fortunately, we have just the ship for this. We need a capacity of 70. We're going back to the mining rifter. Because why not? Yeah, so we were talking about that in Discord earlier. Um, people, it sounds like they commonly lift the rule for reactions. Um, so first of all, I'd, I won't need it for ships because I plan to fly a lot of trig ships. And modules I could potentially source in PvP, but my thought process was I will, you know, start very restricted, and then as I go through, you know, and, the, and this character gets older and older, once I get to a point of like, okay, I, I legitimately can't progress any farther without using, um, you know, an Athenor to do reactions, then I will, I will address that at that point and say like, hey, okay, if I really want to do anything more, I, I need to, this is the route I have to go. And uh, POCOs are another one. So customs offices for PI was another one that was brought up. And that sounds like those are the common rules. Uh, but right now, since I'm just starting out, it it's not something that I'll probably even have to address in the next couple weeks. And I might be, you know, over... No, so for Vedmax, you don't. It's it's just ore and what's in the what you can find in the abyss. So that's just standard ore, and then abyss mats. Now, if I wanted to do like an Icky Tursa, yeah, that'll be these modules. Done. Obviously, the the T2 stuff would be pretty difficult. It would be a fun adventure, but. For the T1 ships, I'll be fine. What do you mean, new industry items? Because like, I've been producing these on my own, and I don't need anything fancy for them. Oh, I see what you're saying. I mean, since, since I'm not doing anything T2 for now, especially with Trig, I'll, I'll be okay. And I can just use NPC structures for most of that stuff. So for this mission, we have to use a gun to kill some rogue drones. We've got our prototype here. Actually, no, we'll just go two 125s and then one mining laser. And never fit a rifter like this. This is a abomination for a very specific goal in mind. We need 70. Yeah, we got plenty of cargo hold. There's a web here. Can we get that on there? Yeah, we can. Okay. Disgusting rifter, but we'll make it work. Where's the EMP that we have? Okay, yeah, I, I think I see what you're saying. So let me go back here. Head back. Blueprint. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So these items is what you're talking about. You're right. So I, I probably haven't built, built a trip ship in some time. So these are sourced... So this is PI, and you're right, that, has, that is a reaction, so that would be very limiting. So once, uh, I mean, I, I probably won't pull the trigger on a Kikimura, 
or definitely not a damn of it, but once I get to the Vedmac point, I'll have to... You're probably right now, I'll have to use an Athenor for the reaction. Even even using that is still you know, a good bit of work ahead of me. But I appreciate you highlighting that. And I was obviously overlooking that and obvious that I, I don't do a lot of industry. Okay, where's the Veldspar we need right there? And I'm pretty sure I've made that mistake a few times. So even with that, I'll have to, I mean, really the Venmac in my mind is, is my end game goal for this. Having my, basically my ESS Venmac is what I want. So go here. I need to source this. Bacteria and proteins. Water and oxygen. I mean, it's gonna be fun either way. That would almost, I'd have to jump into a Poco pretty early on. Which is this? 7,000 Tritanium. If I reprocess the metal scraps, I think that'll give us a good bit too. We'll finish this cycle and go back. Yeah, my initial thought was to get everything through PvP module-wise, which would be fairly easy. But the ship would be the limiting factor there if I want to get a Vedmac. But even if I stuck with just the T1 hulls, you can, as you're probably aware, you can do plenty of damage with them. Okay, let's go back to station. And then what I'll probably do tonight, since we're getting close to midnight, my time is I want to get this mission taken care of and then I want to make that trip to Losek just because it'll be fun. Turn off scaling spray. Let's clean up this UI a little bit. Reprocess these. Yeah, more than enough. What's the next mission? Get an afterburner. We're going to take these electronic parts somewhere. Well, we can do that. Might be on our way even. This, this, mining laser, afterburner. I don't think I had anything else in here. Okay, so where did that mission go? Except
rate of electronic parts into the venture. We'll set our destination there. I wonder if Kronzer puts us next to where we wanted to go. It does not. Where's Kronzer? Imagine it's not anywhere near Losec. And for the most part, we just need to go to Losec. It doesn't need to be a specific system. system we can go to. Yeah, we've been going for, this, this will be one of my longer streams, um, close to three and a half hours. Definitely appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out uh, as I try new content. So this, this channel usually does Lately has done mainly Abyssal stuff, really since I started streaming Abyssal stuff. I really, I'm a big fan of the Icky Tursa in Darks. Uh, my last stream was the T6 Dark Icky Tursa uh, for one set, so four runs. And then the rest of that stream I just did my T4 version. And for those that are familiar with Abyssals, I think uh, T4 Cruiser is a great sweet spot. Chill and is per hour. So what I'll probably do is we'll drop this off. We'll go to low sec, do some mining. Um, but that will basically we'll be halfway through the industri industry career agent, which that actually went pretty quickly. And then I will probably continue to do some mining off stream in that system just to kind of build up a stockpile of minerals. And I can't imagine I'll need much to start. And anything that I do off stream, I'll I'll talk through when I when I come back and stream this again. Okay, dropping this off. and high and collect the pink loot okay interesting so unrated escalations okay that's good insight so I know uh, Kernite will give me some ticks on the air requirements but yeah if there is a better way then I'm all ears Okay, so I would need to, one, I'm guessing either run anomalies and spawn an escalation or source probes to be able to scan that down. And right now, honestly, what, we're, what I'm working through is uh, I don't have a lot of EMP or just decent ammo left, so I, I just need initial Noxium, which will come from Jaspit to give me a stockpile of EMP.
Ah, uh, okay. Just the anomalies? Okay. Yeah, that, that's doable. So, I haven't really done high-sec anomalies ever. I'm guessing you can just do that on a frigate. Or maybe in a thrasher. Because I, I could, at this point, I mean, honestly, the, the missions gave me way more ISK than I thought they would. I could probably very easily go build a thrasher. Or even a stabber. And I, I think mining wise, I probably for this character I won't do much of it beyond like the initial stuff that I can get from the air program. And also like if because I don't have this this actually is, is a huge chunk of time for me to play sit down and play Eve. But there will be times where I could just, if I need ore, I could park a venture somewhere and just slowly, you know, it's not much ore, but it's stuff I'll use. And I can be, you know, occasionally walking by my computer and making sure everything's going okay. Because I, I personally don't want to sit here and mine all day either. Which, if that's your thing, definitely not, not judging. We all play the game for different reasons. Okay, nice, nice. Or, okay, the meadow hick bubbles essentially. That's smart. Okay, very cool. Guess you do a Richter. What would be nice is sourcing a tractor unit. And I do want salvagers, that's on my list of things to get early on. Ooh, tractor units will be difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. Well, we might be doing it old school. Noctis would be doable. And I could honestly just do a destroyer. And I'm guessing it's any of the anomalies in high sec. slowly adding up. You get skill points on this path. Okay. Decent bit of skill points. Okay. Okay. And I'm definitely not married to a sp specific area of space. Since we're going to low sec, let's be a little bit smarter about this. Get D scan up. Oh, new character. Who this? Just holding my cloak here while I get my bearings. This does not need to be huge. Setting my scan to 360 in max range. Let's see what we got going on here. So if you're first starting out, I mean, this is definitely a risk and honestly one that I don't need to take, but this whole process is just me having fun, so. And what I'm doing as I'm warping to this belt is seeing what else is on D-scan. just occasionally 
press that key bind. Carnite, Carnite. I don't think that has what I want. No, it doesn't. This does. This might actually have NPCs in it. How fast can I cycle? A minute. Okay. This is 16 kilometers, 10 kilometers. Set to 5,000. Where's that one? There. Okay. Now this this venture does have a bonus to its warp core, so it can withstand some warp disruption, but really anything that that lands on here if it targets me and can apply damage it has a good chance to just you know kill me but a lot of ships that i that i fly like this so when i do exploration I mean, people fit tank or they'll fly in a stereo and they want to fight but i just fit for agility I mean, I'm, I'm very big on you know fit for the activity that you want to do and stop trying to do so many things at once so those guys immediately popped up i'm going to turn off my afterburner i'm not really going to avoid their damage I'm just going to see how long I can sit here under their pressure. Not long. Not long. Yeah, and more just sh showed up. Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know. Okay, so what I'll probably do is I will... I won't make you watch me go back to high sec. Um, but I will look for somebody to raid and we'll, we'll end the stream tonight here. What, I'll, what I will do is I'll put this guy back to our starting system. Um, might mine a little bit and I'll create some EMP while we are not streaming. But I, I won't play for much longer tonight because I need to get to bed and I'll be at work tomorrow. But as always, I appreciate everybody hanging out. I appreciate all the contributions. Uh, Remy, you've been a big help. I mean, usually when you're hanging out in chat, you're a pretty big help. So I appreciate it. I appreciate the follows and the subscriptions. As always, the the subs are never required, but are always appreciated and, and very helpful to what I'm doing here. So let's see who we've got online at the moment. And now my next stream will probably be, probably won't be for a, a couple days now, and I'll probably do Abyssals. But I will be back on this character again on stream. And as always, you can hit me up on my Discord or in-game if you have questions or you just, you know, you like what, what you see and you want to provide feedback or you just, if you just want to hang out and, and chat. Visual fleet action. Combat exploration with Iron Bandit. Let's hit him up. I haven't raided him before. So again, thank you everyone. Happy to hang out with you. Let's raid Iron Bandit. <laughs>